when working with images in Photoshop, you'll come across certain situations that require additional canvas area outside that of the actual image. Now, one such uh, situation would be, for example, if you were printing your images and you wanted to add a lovely white border around them so then you can actually sign underneath your image, you could do that using canvas size. So let's go and actually implement that. So if you go up to your main navigational menu and click on image, and then to scroll down you'll find canvas size. Now what you'll notice with canvas size is that it'll actually give you your current size of your document, which is the file size. Um, so at the moment I'm, I've got a 48.5 megabyte file and then we have the actual width size and that's actually um, documented in pixels here but if I was actually to change it to say centimeters then that'll actually change to centimeters. So that'll tell you where your current image is at. And then underneath that we have the new size. Now the new size is going to be the addition, the, the new size of the entire file, uh, which is determined by the additional canvas that you're going to be adding to the image that's already there. So essentially, you have a couple of options. You have basically the um, predefined size that's here. You can actually add to that by just going and adding, say I want that to be 25 instead of 24 centimeters in size. You can choose that just by adding to it here or you can choose to check relative. Now relative is much easier to understand because it's actually telling you how much you're adding to your uh, outside edge of your image without having to actually calculate that in your head based on the existing document size. So in most cases, I usually leave relative set and that's what I'll actually utilize. So in this example, say I wanted to add an entire white border to the outside edges of my image. Uh, what I could do is say, let's add a two centimeter, uh, well, it'll be a one centimeter border, but in order to add a one centimeter border right the way around, I'll have to put in two centimeters and two, centi two centimeters for the width and two centimeters for the height. And that's primarily because my anchor is currently set to the center here. So that means that whatever I put in here, it'll take half of that and put it on the left hand side, half of it on the right hand side, and then it'll take half of the height, put that on the top and the bottom. So essentially you'll get one centimeter white right the way around the actual image as the new canvas area. Now underneath your anchor point, you actually have your canvas extension color. And this is primarily the color of the canvas that you're actually gonna be creating. So in most cases, you'll probably choose white, um, but you do have the option of choosing from black, gray, and even selecting from your foreground and background colors, which are actually the color palettes that are over here. So that's your foreground and that one there is your background. So you can have any color that you choose primarily. Um, so I'm going to leave this set to white and we'll just click OK. And what you'll notice now is that around my image I have a one centimeter uh, border. And we'll just check on the rulers here. Let's actually set those to centimeters. You'll notice there it's one centimeter exactly. So that's essentially how you go about actually adding a additional canvas to an image in Photoshop. Now, what happens if you want to actually add canvas just to say the left hand side and the top side, for example, what you could do is if I just undo that change and we'll just go back up to image canvas size, instead of actually specifying um, the size or the anchor point, I should say, uh, for the center, what we can actually choose is to reposition that. So for example, if I only wanted to add, um, say, additional canvas to the top of the image, then I could select this center one here and I could just add it to the height. So I could add one centimeter and that would go specifically to the height or the, the top of the image, I should say. Um, but if I wanted to add it to the, say, the left hand side and the top of the image, then I could select the bottom here and you'll see the arrows. So it'll be the, the left hand side and also the top side. So if I just add one centimeter into each one of the, uh, the width and the height, uh, what you'll notice is if I just click OK, then it's actually added that canvas directly to the left hand side, the top hand side. So it does give you a little bit of flexibility with your adjustments when you're actually working with canvas size. And there are actually a lot of um, occasions where canvas size comes in quite handy um, and that'll just be determined by the type of work that you're doing. So that is sort of essentially canvas size. I think you'll uh, enjoy playing around with that and it's something that I think you'll find quite useful 
through your workflow process.